ಹಲೋ ಲರ್ನರ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ವಿ ಟಿ ಯು ಇ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಂ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರವಿ ಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಟ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾವರ್ಧಕ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮೈಸೂರು ಇನ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಎ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೈಡ್ರಾಲಿಕ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಡಿಸೈನ್ what are the learning outcomes of session 1 upon completion of this session the student shall be able to describe the working and construction of different types of directional control valves the student shall be able to identify the graphic symbols used for directional control valves firstly we shall discuss the importance of hydraulic valves one of the most important functions in any fluid power system is control if control components are not properly selected the entire system will fail to deliver the required output elements for the control of energy and other control in fluid power system are called valves there are three basic types of valves number 1 directional control valves number 2 pressure control valves number 3 flow control valves next we shall discuss the function of directional control valves directional control valves are used to control the direction of flow in a hydraulic circuit they are used to extend retract position or reciprocate hydraulic cylinder and other components for linear motion next we shall move on to the classification of directional control valves directional control valves are classified according to the type of construction in that we have puppet valves spool valves next dcvs are classified according to number of working ports they are two way valves three way valves and four way valves next dcvs are classified according to number of switching positions so it can be either two position valve or three position valves next according to actuating mechanism it is classified as manual actuation mechanical actuation electrical actuation hydraulic actuation pneumatic actuation and indirect actuation now we shall move on to valve symbols so here we shall discuss how the ports are designated for pressure supply port it is designated as 1 or p for output ports it is designated as 2 or 4 or a or b for return or tank line it is designated as 3 or t next we shall discuss in this slide figure a shows about flow path so here a square within the square a line is shown with an arrowhead so that indicates the direction of flow and in figure b if we want to show the flow shut off so then within the square we can show a symbol like this so that indicates flow shut off figure c shows initial connections so suppose if you want to show four initial connections then draw square 
and on the square you show four lines so that indicates there are the initial connections so here four lines are shown on the square so that indicates four initial connections so generally the valves are denoted as m bar n valve where m denotes number of ports or ways and n denotes number of switching positions next we shall discuss how to draw symbol for two position three position or four way two position valve or four way three position valve so if you want to draw a symbol for two position valve draw two adjacent squares so each switching position denotes one square and here there are two adjacent squares so that means there are two switching position so position 1 and position 2 now if you want to show three switching positions draw three squares so this is the center path configuration position o then next this square indicates position 1 and the square indicates position 2 so there are three switching positions so it is denoted by three squares here there are two switching positions it is denoted by two squares now if you want to draw a symbol for four way two position valve so first you draw two squares adjacent squares that denotes two switching positions and then four initial connections so 1 2 Three, four on this square. So four initial connections that indicates four-way two-position directional control valve. Similarly, if you want to draw symbol for four-way three-position directional control valve, so then draw three squares. So that denotes three switching positions, and at the center path configuration, you show four initial connections. So that denotes number of uh, initial connections or number of ways so this is about how to draw a symbol for four way two position or four way three position type of valve next we shall discuss about valve actuation methods so what are the different ways the valves are actuated so the valve can be actuated with the help of the push button it can be actuated with the help of the lever it can be actuated by roller it can be actuated by plunger it can be actuated with the help of the spring so by solenoid so by passing electric current to the coil and energizing that so you can actuate the valve and you can actuate the valve that is detent position or you can actuate the valve by the application of air pneumatic pressure so here you can see it's a closed halo arrow that indicates pneumatic system or you can actuate the valve with the help of the pedal so these are the different ways wherein we can actuate the valves now we shall discuss about ball type check valves so in ball type check valves it consists of a ball and onto the ball a spring is attached so that due to the spring force the ball will be seated in its position and it has inlet and outlet so wherein this inlet is connected to the pressure source and outlet is the output port wherein you are going to activate or actuate the system and this is the corresponding symbol for ball type check valve so here at this location when there is no signal present so due to the spring force the ball remains in the closed position so that there is no connectivity between inlet and the outlet but when there is a signal present here and when this signal overcomes this spring force so then ball moves away from its seat and then the inlet will be connected with the outlet and the system will be pressurized so it's a uh, one way type of valve so here 
I can see flow is possible only in this direction and in the opposite direction flow is not possible. So this is about ball type check valve. Next we shall move on to sliding spool valve. So in this sliding spool valve first we shall discuss about three way spool valve. So this arrangement gives you the information with respect to three way valves. So this is one switching position and this is another switching position. So coming to the construction it consists of a spool onto the spool lands are provided and then wherein this spool slides within the valve body. So it will slide within the valve body and here this P is connected to the pump line, A is connected to the cylinder we call it as the output port and T is connected to the tank port. So when in this switching position here the corresponding symbol is shown so that uh, each switching position is denoted by a square. So in this switching position P is connected with A and T is blocked. So P is connected with A and T is blocked. And when the spool slides within the valve body, so when the spool moves in this direction, so again uh, that position is denoted by another square. So there are two adjacent squares. It's a two position valve now. So P is blocked. There is no connectivity between P and A. P is blocked and A is connected to T. So A is connected to T. So there are two switching position and then the opening and closing of the port occurs as the spool slides within the valve body. Next we shall move on to four way valves. So four way valves here this is one switching position and this is another switching position. So each position is denoted by a square. So there are two adjacent squares. So two position two switching positions. So in this position uh, here this is a spool position one. So in this spool position one we can see P is connected to A and B is connected to T. So P is connected to that is pump line is connected with the output port A and B output port B is connected with the tank line. So here you can see an uh, arrow a line with the arrow denotes the flow direction. So P is connected with A and B is connected with T. And again when the spool slides within the valve body. So when the spool slides within the valve body when it moves in this direction. So P is connected with B, A is connected with T. So in this switching position you can see that P is connected with B and A is connected with T. So this is how a four way valve works. So three way two position valve is used to control single acting cylinder and four way two position valve is used to control double acting cylinders. Next we shall discuss about how to draw symbols for the given statements. So here we shall draw a symbol for manually actuated spring centered four way three position directional control valve DCV. So in this manually actuated four way three position. So three position means three squares position O position one position two. So three squares are drawn and then four way. So P is connected to the pump line. T is connected to the tank line. A is connected with the cylinder. So we call it as output port A and B and B is connected to the cylinder. That's the output port and manually actuated. So with the help of this lever the valve is actuated and spring centered. So on either side of the spool springs are provided. So due to the opposing spring forces 
when the liver is not operated the valve will move to the center path configuration and then the flow will shut off so when you operate the liver now this when you operate the liver the spool will slide within the valve body and it will move to this position 1 so when the spool when the valve shift to the position 1 p is connected to a b is connected to t and now again when you operate the liver or when you release the liver due to the opposing spring force the valve will move to the position o now when you operate the liver again the valve will move to position 2 this envelope configuration so that p will be connected with b a will be connected with t so like this we can draw a symbol for manually actuated spring centered four way three position directional control valve next we shall uh, discuss how to draw symbol for manually actuated spring offset four way two position directional control valve so two position you denote it by two squares two position this is position o and this is position one denote it by two adjacent squares manually actuated so you show a, a liver on one side of this symbol and spring offset so a spring is shown on the other side now when it is uh, in the position of the spring offset mode p will be connected to a and b will be connected to t so p is connected to a b is connected to t in this spring offset mode when you operate the liver so the valve will move to position one and then so that when the spool slides within the valve body port opening and closing occurs so p will be connected with b and a will be connected with t so this is how we can draw a symbol for manually actuated spring offset four way two position directional control valve next we shall discuss how to draw symbol for mechanically actuated spring offset four way two position directional control valve so here in the this is the spring offset mode there are two position position o position one two adjacent squares and then four way so this is connected to the pump line this is connected to the tank line this is connected to the cylinder output ports so a and b are connected to the cylinders and mechanically actuated that is roller operated roller operated so in the spring offset mode p is connected with a b is connected with t now when it is roller operated when it is mechanically operated so that the roller is uh, like uh, connected to the spool and when it is in this position envelope configuration so it will move to position one so that p will be connected with b and a will be connected with t so this is how a mechanically actuated spring offset four way d directional control valve symbol looks like now we shall discuss about how to draw symbol for air pilot actuated spring centered four way three position dcbs so three position three squares 0 1 2 three squares and then four connections four initial connections this is connected to the pump line this is connected to the tank line this is connected to the uh, cylinder a and b both are connected to the cylinder and air pilot actuated so it is you show a closed hollow arrow, arrow on either side so air pilot actuated closed hollow arrow, arrow spring centered on either side of the spool spring spring or springs are provided so that so when the valve is now your valve is not actuated with help of the air signal so then due to the opposing spring forces so that the valve will move to the center path configuration now when the spool receives air signal on one side so then the valve will shift to position one so that p will be connected with a and b will be connected with t so 
Next, again when you supply air signal on the other side of the spool, so that the valve will shift to position 2, so that P will be connected with B and A will be connected with T. So like this, the uh, symbol can be developed for air pilot actuated spring centered 4 way 3 position directional control valve. Now we shall discuss about how to draw symbol for single solenoid actuated 4 way 2 position spring offset directional control valve. So 2 position, position 1 and 2 and then spring offset so spring is provided on one side of the valve and then here you have single solenoid where current will flow to the coil and then the valve is actuated. So in the spring offset mode that is it is a 4 way 2 position. So there are 2 positions shown. So 4 way that is P and then this is the tank line. This is A and this is P. These are the output ports which are connected to the cylinder. So in the spring offset mode, P is connected to B, A is connected to tank line. And when you supply current to the coil and the coil is energized so that the spool will move to this envelope configuration and then the port opening and closing occurs so that the valve will shift to left envelope configuration. So in this case, P is open to A, B is open to T. So this is how you can draw symbol for single solenoid actuated 4 way 2 position spring offset directional control valve. Now, now we shall discuss about how to draw symbol for this solenoid actuated 4 way 3 position spring centered directional control valve. So in this 3 position, so 3 squares are shown 0, 1, 2, 3 squares are shown and then spring centered, spring centered, solenoid actuated, solenoid actuated. So the spool are actuated with the help of the solenoid. So when there is no current or when the coil is not energized, so the valve due to the opposing spring forces, the valve will move to the center path configuration and then the port or all ports are closed in this case. So here this is connected to the P, this is connected to the tank line and we have two ports, they are output ports A and B. Now when you energize this coil so that the valve will shift to the position 1. So when the valve shift to position 1, P is connected to A and B is connected to T. So when P is connected to A and B is connected to T and again when you like energize the coil over here so that the spool will slide and shift to this envelope configuration. So P will be connected with B and A will be connected with the tank. So this is how you can draw a symbol for solenoid actuated 4 way 3 position spring centered directional control valve. Next we shall move on to center flow path configuration for 4 bar 3 directional control valve. So in this 4 way 3 position that is what are the center path configurations. So we have 6 types of center flow path configuration. So this is one where A, B and P are open to tank. So all ports are open to tank. This is one center path configuration and in center path con this type of center path configuration A is open to tank port P, B and P are blocked. Similarly, this is another center flow path configuration. So wherein all ports are closed and then we have another type of center flow path configuration. So where A and B are open to the 
tank line port p is blocked and next we have a and p open to tank but b is blocked port b is blocked and this one we call it as tandem type of center flow path configuration so where p is open to tank and port a and b are closed so these are the different center flow path configurations for four way three position directional control valve now we shall discuss about rotary spool valve so far we discussed about sliding spool valve so here the rotary spool valve so wherein the spool rotates within the valve body so in this case we can see 2 is open to 4 and 1 is open to 3 and when the spool rotates within the valve body 2 is open to 3 and 1 is open to 4 and similarly again when the spool rotates within the valve body so that no flow occurs across the ports so this is how a rotary spool valve works now we shall discuss about a special type of directional control valve that is shuttle valve so on this you have primary port p1 secondary port p2 and this one is the output port and a ball will toggle between p1 and p2 and this is connected to the system where you are uh, actuating and this is the corresponding symbol for the shuttle valve so when signal is present at p1 when there is no signal at p2 so p will be connected with p1 will be connected with a so that the system is pressurized and again when there is no signal at p1 and there is a signal at p2 this ball will toggle and then it will block this port opening and then p2 will be connected with a similarly when there is a signal present at both p1 and p2 so either depending upon the pressure strength so the signal strength so depending upon that p1 will be connected with a or p2 will be connected with a so like that a shuttle valve it is similar to your like the ball will toggle between p1 and p2 so this is the corresponding symbol for this shuttle valve ball type shuttle valve now i am going to play you a video from which is taken from youtube you kindly watch the uh, video which is taken from youtube and the source is also mentioned over here so you please watch this youtube directional control valves Directional control valves are used to stop, start, root, and divert fluid streams without affecting the pressure level or the flow rate of the system. Directional control valves are identified by the number of ways that fluid can flow and the number of positions the valve can produce. A way refers to the number of active porting connections, called ports. This valve has three ports, so it is a three-way valve. The term position refers to the number of discrete operating positions of the internal valve element. For this spool valve, one position allows fluid to flow from the inlet to port A, and a second position allows fluid to flow from the inlet to port B. Therefore, this is a two-position valve. This spool valve has two ports and two positions. The first position allows fluid to flow freely. The second position blocks both ports. Even though both ports aren't physically blocked, the lack of fluid entering the pressure port also prevents fluid from exiting outlet port A. Therefore, both ports are defined as blocked, making it a two-way, two-position valve. To simplify fluid system drawings and schematics, all valves can be represented graphically 
Boxes, sometimes called envelopes, are used to indicate the number of valve positions. Since this is a two-position valve, its graphic representation has two adjacent boxes. Continuous lines are used to indicate fluid flow between ports. For complex valves, the ports may also be labeled. The input port is typically labeled P for pressure. Outlet ports are typically given alpha characters starting with A. Other times, the letter stands for the destination of the fluid. For instance, the letter T would indicate a port that is connected to a tank. This is a fairly simple valve, so port labels are not required. A solid arrow indicates the direction of liquid flow. The first position of this valve allows fluid to flow from the pressure port to port A, so an arrow is drawn in the first box to indicate fluid flow. A T indicates that a port, or way, is blocked or closed. This valve's first position has no ports blocked, but its second position blocks both. The second box corresponds to the second position of the valve. Therefore, two T's are added to illustrate the lack of fluid flow in the second position. Next, lines are drawn to indicate the normal position of the valve. The normal position is defined as the position of the valve when its spool is unshifted and the power is off. This means that any mechanical actuators, such as springs, are in their non-actuated positions. Electron is defined as the position of the valve when its spool is unshifted and the power is off. This means that any mechanical actuators, such as springs, are in their non-actuated positions. Electrical actuators, such as solenoids, are powered off. The normal position can sometimes be referred to as the unshifted, de-energized, or unactuated position. In this case, position 1 is the normal position. Therefore, the lines to indicate the normal position are drawn in the first box. On a hydraulic schematic, the lines that indicate the normal position will be connected to other devices in the system. Valves that do not have mechanical or electrical actuators do not have a normal position because they must be manually moved. When shifted, they remain in that state until manually shifted to another position. The terms normally opened and normally closed are used to describe the condition of a valve when it is in the normal position. For this valve, the normal position is position 1, which allows unrestricted fluid flow through the open ports. Therefore, this valve is a normally opened valve. Additionally, this valve is a spring return valve, meaning that after it is actuated, a spring returns the spool to the normal position. A spring symbol is placed next to the block representing the normal position. Actuators used to change valve positions can be mechanical, pneumatic pilot, or electric solenoid. To complete the diagram, the primary actuator symbol is placed on the other end of the graphic symbol. In this case, the actuator is a push button. Mechanical actuators change valve positions with springs, push buttons, plungers, levers, and cam rollers. Pneumatic pilots change valve position with a pressured air signal. Electric solenoids that change valve positions by directly moving the valve element are called direct solenoids. Electric solenoids that open small pilot valves and allow pressurized air to move the valve element are called solenoid-controlled pilot operators. Here is a similar valve to the one previously shown. It has two ports and two positions. So it is also a two-way, two-position valve. To illustrate the differences with this valve, let's build its graphic symbol. It is a two-position valve, so the graphic symbol will have two adjacent boxes. This valve also has two ports. However, in the normal non-actuated position, both ports are blocked. Therefore, it is a normally closed valve. When the valve is actuated, fluid is allowed to flow from the pressure port to port A. A spring returns the valve to its normally closed position, and a push button actuates it to the open position. Therefore, this valve is a two-way, two-position, 
normally closed spring return push button operated valve. While it is similar to the previous example, the differences in the normal position make it a distinctly different valve. The most important applications in fluid power for three-way valves are for directional control. Here we have a typical three-way valve with two operating positions. This valve has an inlet port P, exhaust port E, and output port A. In its normal position, inlet port P is blocked and outlet port A is connected to exhaust port E. The second position allows fluid to flow from the pressure port P to outlet port A and blocks exhaust port E. The valve is also spring return and push button operated. Here is another three-way, two-position valve. This valve also has an inlet port P, exhaust port E, and output port A, but they are in a different configuration. In its normal position, exhaust port E is blocked and fluid flows from pressure port P to outlet port A. The second position, pressure port P, is blocked and allows fluid to flow from outlet port A to exhaust port E. The valve is also spring return and push button operated. Three-way directional control valves have many applications in fluid systems. One of the most common applications is for the control of single acting cylinders. In this application, fluid is pumped from a tank to pressure port P. With the valve in the normal position, fluid is blocked. When the valve is actuated, fluid flows from pressure port P through outlet port A to the cylinder. The cylinder extends and remains extended until the valve changes positions. When the valve de-energizes, the spool returns to position 1, pressure port P is blocked and exhaust port E is opened. The cylinder retracts and fluid flows from the cylinder through port A and out exhaust port E. From there, the fluid returns to the tank. Here's a graphical rendering of the same system using symbols as they would appear on a schematic diagram. Two- and three-way control valves are ideal for use as directional control valves to operate cylinders or hydraulic rams, filling and draining tanks, as mechanical brakes, and even in vacuum systems. Their versatility is vital to the successful operation of many different fluid systems. Okay, now we have come to an end of this session one. So to summarize, we discussed about construction and working principle of directional control valve. Then about valve symbols. What are the methods of actuating directional control valve? And lastly, types of center flow path configuration for four-way, three-position directional control valve. So these are the references so fluid power with applications by anthony esposito oil hydraulics by sr majumdar hydraulics and pneumatics by andrew parr and this is the uh, link wherein i have played you a video so wherein i took that video from youtube thank you happy learning